Hello everyone. This is just a sort of vloggy vlog update crap. Um, like I well no I actually lied about um in my I haven't read much <laughs> since I said that I was done for the month. I read one book last night because I couldn't sleep. But other than that, I have not read anything. Um. I'm just kind of bored. It's really, really hot. Um, my life has been an emotional turmoil lately. And I realize that I keep um, mentioning this thing that's been going on. And then... Uh, um, like ten minutes ago, I realized that you guys, most of you don't follow me on Twitter or Tumblr, so, so you have no idea what I'm talking about when I mention this stuff. Um, I actually made a video explaining everything um, that's been going on last night for my other channel, but I haven't put it up yet, and I don't know if I will, but um, if you guys want to know what's been going on, you can, um, go over there if you, um, you can leave a comment down below letting me know what, um, letting me know, know that you do, and then I'll, like, put it up <laughs> and, like, post a quick video letting you know that it's up in line. Um, I think my other channel is linked to this channel. Like, when you edit your channel, you can, like, add channels, and I've done that. I don't know. Um, I will link my other channel in the down bar. Um, for anyone interested, um, I broke my book buying then. But it was, like, it was, it was for a good reason. Okay. I got six books for, like, eight dollars. Okay. Because, um... I can't remember her name, um, hold on, let me go look what her name is, it's, let me find her, posted a video in a couple days, so I have to like search through and find her. Oh my god, has it really been that long? She had to have posted a video. Oh, here. Um, the book rat Misty, um, she posted, um, a vlog, or a haul about, um, book closeouts, and so I went on there, and I bought the rest of the series that, um, that Hawk Song by Amelia Atwater Rhodes is part of, and then she bought, um, the Den of Shadows Quartet, and it's like a bind-up of it, and, um, I, um, my favorite book is In the Forest of the Night, which is the first book in that series, and I've never really been interested in reading the other books because, um, I don't think they have to do with the same characters, um, at least not as main characters, which is what I was interested in. I'm not even sure the, um, rest of Hawk, the Hawk Song, I'm gonna call it the Hawk Song series, because that's the first book, and I can't pronounce the actual name of the series. Like, let me let's look this up. What is... Let's look up what it is called. It is the Kishora series. That is my attempt at pronouncing that. I'm not even sure they do, um, I think it, 
The second one, I think the baby that's being born is theirs. Let's see. I'm friends with Amelia on Facebook. Um, not Facebook. Goodreads. They like have it. It continues with those two, which I'm glad because I was enjoying their storyline. I don't know, but I broke that and I bought. So I bought the last four in the series, and then I bought the bind up of the entire series because my copy of In the Forest of the Night is really, 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 really beat up and old, and it's so old that I don't even remember where I got it. So, I will be keeping it, of course, because I love it. It's given me a good, um, let's see, five years that I can remember. I think I first read it in eighth grade. I don't know. I've had it for a long time. But, um, yeah. So, next topic, the 4th of July is coming up. And normally that is, like, my favorite holiday ever, but... Um, my neighbors have decided to start doing, um, fireworks early, <laughs> which is freaking my dog is out. Um, my dog won't go outside, he won't go into his bed. He actually, the first time it happened, he was in his cage, like, locked up for the night, and he squeezed out, like, he bent the bars of his cage and squeezed out, and these aren't like... The bars are like this big, and he's a black lab, it's like this big. He's lying on my bed staring at me. I had to drag him outside to go to the bathroom earlier. Come on, you big scary cat. Come. Come here, boy. You little chicken shit. He won't even get off my bed. I don't know if I want to show you my bed. It's really, it's, I don't know, sheets on it right now. I've been lazy and haven't put sh I was changing my seats yesterday and I just never put them back on. But um this is my first time being in California for the fourth of July in a few years. Um I've been in Mississippi with my dad the last couple of summers. Um last summer we went out to my stepmom's um uncle's boat or lake house. It's not even a house, it's like, okay, it's like a travel trailer, and then they like built mo around it, so it's like a house, it's weird. We call it our white trash lake house, um, and we went out on the pon pontoon boat. You don't know what a pontoon boat, it's like, it's like flat, and it's, it's got like bar, it's not like a, <sighs> it's like flat, and it's got railings, and stuff and then it's like a barge sort of if you've ever seen a barge and then it's got these like two um I don't know what they're called pontoons they're called pontoons um and they're like filled with air to help the boat float and you can like hang out under the boat and shit well not like when it's going that might be dangerous um but we went out and that was fun. I'm so, like, tucky, tucky, tucky. I don't know, I just wanted to let you guys know that I broke the book buying ban and that, um, I have no self-control. But I have read most of the books that I needed to read. I have those four that are left in the stack right there. And then, um, I'm currently reading Remember Me by Christopher Diff for Peck. I'm actually only... 118 pages in because it's boring. Like it took her 100 pages just to die. It's just it's boring. It's tough. It's just it's too slow for me. Like it's too slow. Um, but I really wanted it because um I read Wings a couple years ago. I haven't read any of those like sequels to that one. 
I think it's called Wings. Yeah, yeah, it's called Wings. Um, wait. It might be a different Pike. I'm on something. I think that's April and Pike, not Christopher Pike. Well, that explains a lot, actually. But um, I'm not enjoying it, guys. I'm just not. But I'm going to force myself to read it because I did buy it. You know, I saw the, the other day. Um, every time I go into Barnes and Noble, I see the um thirst, the three thirst bind ups. Focus. I'm not, not going to focus on it. And I'm like, oh, I should get those, and I never do. But the other, I was at the mall with a friend yesterday, with a couple friends yesterday, and um, she pulled um, number three out of her bag, and it was in hardback. And I've never seen these bind-ups in hardback. I've never seen any bind-ups in hardback. But, yeah, and then um, Hot Topic. Gosh, okay. So I was standing outside Hot Topic with one of my friends, um, and I look, I'm like looking around, and I'm, I stop, and I'm like, I think that's my mom's boyfriend, and he comes up to me, and he's like, he pulls uh, a wad of money out of his pocket and like hands me money, and I'm just like, uh, how did you find me? <laughs> um, but it was, it was really weird, but anyway. I went into Hot Topic and they're like having a huge sale and they had like these wristbands um for 99 cents and oh you guys need to follow me on Instagram because I posted the coolest picture um they had this like bracelet and you like it, the bracelet's here and then it's like that it's a skeleton of your hand and there's like the bracelet and then this part of your hand and then like the bones and it they're like rings that attach to all of your fingers, and I posted a picture of myself wearing it, but it was $15, and I was like, I really, I can't justify that, I just can't, but I really, really want it, and it's so cool, but anyway, I got this bracelet that says adorkable, and then I got another one, um, and it's from the foundation to write love on her arms, not even in the screen, yeah, and, um, if you don't know what to write love on her arms is, you should. Um, it's very rare that someone doesn't know what it is these days, because um, ever since Hot Topic started sponsoring it, uh, or, like, they sell their stuff now, um, they've been getting a lot of recognition. It's just Google it. Um, actually, the website is twloha.com. I'll, like, link it or something. But it's an amazing foundation. Um, just their existence helped me because I was going through some hard times a few years ago. And they really just, the fact that they were there if I needed help was very helpful and they help a lot of people. And more shameless plugging, I discovered them through a woman named London Anderson. And she's amazing. And, um,. Her YouTube username is London09, and you should go check her out completely. Um, uh, in fact, she wrote well. She didn't. She wrote the music to a song called Two Red Love Hundred Rooms," and she took like the founding story. Like when you order something, they send you a card with like the story of how it was founded on there, and um, she took the lyric. She took that and she turned it into a song, and it's amazing and beautiful and I've been listening to it like non-stop for the last couple days because um I bought the bracelet and my friend wanted to know what it was about because um I made her buy a bracelet too um but yeah this is like a 15 minute long video which I think is one of the longest videos I've ever ever done other than like my bookshelf tours which speaking of which um I know it's only been a couple months since my last one, but um, I've gotten a ton of books since then, and I was thinking that after my um, order from uh, book closeouts gets here, um, I will do another bookshelf tour if that's okay with you guys. Um, 
Can't see what gloves they had? No? Well, since he won't come, come say hi, I guess that is it. Um, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and share and tell everybody. Um, love you guys. Bye.